Tom. Yeah. I am incredibly, incredibly sorry. I have lied. You lied to you. Okay. I ha I have been in the desert before. Before yesterday. Yes. But it wasn't that kind of desert, though. What kind, wait, what kind of desert was it? It was Dubai. So it's like more desert, desert. This was more like cool. Desert. So you lied about Dubai. Bye bye. Talking about Dubai, I was thinking about that trip specifically yesterday when I was standing out in the desert, Tom taking a photo of me and everything just looked so good. The sunset was perfect and I was just feeling that same kind of vibe that I had back then when I was standing in the desert in Dubai taking the same kind of photo with the sunset, the sand, the t-shirt flapping in the wind. But the difference compared to now is that back in 2019 I decided to pay for the ticket to make a YouTube video with the money that I made on DHL which was also the last money that I made on DHL. And I think that that is kind of cool how everything that I've been through so far started out with that trip of me just wanting to make YouTube videos. And when I think about that time it is a time that was incredibly incredibly motivating for me because I did not have the expectations of be where I am today sitting here in LA with Tom Buck on Long Beach the longest beach <laughs> in the world it is just so surreal when you think about it and then one month before this being able to meet up with Peter McKinnon and just make a video with him for one of the biggest camera brands in the world DJI when you think about that is mind-blowing but it's also super motivating for me to keep pushing my channel forward and I really hope that something that I've told in this video is gonna be motivating for you when you're sitting there in your living room or your own apartment or your own studio because you might want to do the exact same journey that I did and rent a studio and start your own YouTube channel and do this extravagant thing, then do that. Be motivated, stay motivated and don't see the hurdles that is coming your way. Find a way to jump over them rather than just crash into them because that is gonna be the key difference of achieving success and not achieving success. But it's also very important to understand that success is not about how many subscribers you have or how many views that your videos get or how much money that you're making into your bank account. Success is about what makes you happy and being able to do that for a long period of time without having someone telling you that you have to do this, you have to do that. Your success is not gonna be similar to my success. And my success is not gonna dictate your success or your possibility to not succeed or whatever it might be because you are you and you should do the journey that you want to do, not the journey that I have already done, right? So when you lied about Dubai, did you buy your own ticket for that trip? Oh dear God, Tom. Jesus Christ. You know, I really wish that I could stay here longer because I feel like three days is not really enough to be able to do the US trip things that I wanted to do. What do you think Tom? Three days? I think you should just stay here indefinitely. Indefinitely? I, think that, yeah. I would love to. It's been great. <laughs> I agree. Take a look at these numbers. They are placed in the wrong order. They should be placed like from here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight. Just exactly like a phone, but now it's the opposite. That's the 24 sound, right? I have never been to one of these in my entire life, but I want to see how it is, if it's that much different from what we have at home. How beautiful is that? If you can't walk, you have the Walmart card. See how big that is? It's kind of hard to explain how far those lights just keep extending down the warehouse. You see how far that is? 
like it never ends. It is so big. You can literally walk down here and not be on the other side of the Walmart for like five minutes. See the size of these aisles? It's like they never end. This looks so much different than what it does in Sweden. Does it? Yeah. It's not that it's something strange with it, but it's like I'm not used to it, so it looks very different. This is just amazing though, because then you can go pick up your groceries and then buy some color, some fans, some AC, some hardware stuff. Having all of that in one place is just not something that would have in Sweden. How about getting a sofa for your, uh, for your living room? Huh? Yeah, and here's your TV and your vacuum cleaner. Or maybe a new laptop. This is the perfect place to be if you need some coolant for your American vehicle, right? Or if you have a European vehicle, it's very important that you have European core because it's not the same core. Here's an entire bike store within Walmart. To be able to find all of these things in Sweden, you would have to go to like four different stores. <laughs> there's no way there's a store that has all of this. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but this is bigger than my head. This is something that we don't have in Sweden, being able to buy alcohol in the store. We have Systembolaget in Sweden, which means that you have to go to a specific store to be able to buy booze. <laughs> wow, 2.7 kilos. What? This is what you had when people threw rocks at you. This is Gorilla Snot Yell. Yeah. You think it's glue, but it's snot. I, I'm actually gonna give it a uh, fascinating 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10! I loved it. I All think right. it was super cool. There's like everything you need for your home build, everything that you might need to survive. It's very, very different compared to Swedish stores. I'm gonna show you in a future episode. Wouldn't it be kind of typical if I arrived to LAX and forgot my phone somewhere. That is exactly what has happened. So I don't have a phone, it's still on. It doesn't have 4G, so we can't find it on find my iPhone. And I have absolutely no clue where it is. And my plane is leaving in two hours, so I gotta go. Thank you for this time, Tom. Thank you. It's been I the best. say that I'll call you, but... You can call me and see if you find the phone. <laughs> Take care. At least I got my passport and my boarding card, so that's good, otherwise it would be chaos. Gothenburg. Talk about a crowded airport, all right? <laughs> Not a single person inside. Typical Sweden.